Hi friends, welcome. Yes, my face is a little red because I just did a little face treatment on it and I don't know what this is. It's actually like a little blood blister, but welcome to our day. Jason and I have a little secret. We have a little secret, but I can't tell you what it is yet. I've got to get this little squirt, where is she? Right there, off to the bus. And it is the first day with no masks. Wait. La! Well, it's not for me. Not for Ashley. Do you want to tell them when you're going to wear your mask? I already told your teacher. Yeah. She's not, her teacher is not the monitor of her mask she, anymore. She, she just asked. Hang on. When are you going to wear your mask? When I'm in line. Can I take it off at recess? You can take it off at outside recess, yes. When you're at your desk, you can take it off. When you're on the bus, you keep it on. So in the bus, in line, and small groups close to each other, okay. which doesn't happen too often. It happens like one. Okay. And Ashley has something fun today. You have stuffy day. Stuffy day, um. And they can take fidgets and or Pokemon cards to trade. She doesn't do Pokemon cards, but she does do fidgets. She's a whole baggie of fidgets. But I can't tell you my little secret until I get laundry started here. I have to do laundry. When do I like to get laundry done before travel? Be right back. So do you think Ashley likes the color tie-dye purple? <laughs> Literally, show me your shirt. It perfectly matches your little squash mallow. And then I have a tie-dye backpack. And then your tie-dye purple backpack. Hmm, something tells me that's a favorite color scheme of yours. Yeah. All right, next up is to uh, put my face on because you guys don't need to see, anyway. <laughs> you don't need to see it without makeup on. Normally on a Friday, if I don't have any plans, I would just go ahead and not put makeup on. But I'm kind of getting a few spots that I'm starting to pick at, and I will continue to pick at them if I don't have makeup on. So I'm gonna put makeup on. And I'm getting these spots because I have had sugar 100%. So I've gotta do better. Might not be doing better tonight because we're gonna watch the new streaming movie of Turning Red on Disney+. Plus. We were actually really hoping it would go to theaters before we found out that it was gonna be on Disney. I have a gift card that I got for my brother that I wanted to take the kids for a movie, but there hasn't been a good kids movie since we got the gift card for Christmas. So this is our first step. I just lost the lid and the battery's flashing. Okay, I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna put my face on and then we have to pack. Much better. And I won't pick, I won't pick up my face if I have makeup on. All right, so a few weeks ago, I'll give you a little story about this little trip of ours. A few weeks ago, Jason was like, hey, if I like wanted to plan something on a Saturday or a Sunday, you're kind of like open, right? Like I looked at the calendar and you're kind of open and I was like, yeah, I mean, our game night is the only thing planned on Saturday and our Sundays are open because we don't do anything on Sunday anyway besides church. And he's like, okay, okay. I didn't hear anything from him. And then two weeks ago, he came to me and he was like, I give up. I don't like doing surprises because I never do them right. So can you plan this for me? <laughs> All right, what do you have planned? And he's like, well, I wanted to do a weekend getaway with you and just go and be able to like sleep in and hang out and get dinner. I was like, well, that sounds kind of fun, okay. And he's like, I said, so what's the problem? And he was like, well, I just don't know what hotel to get and I want us to have late checkout, so I don't wanna have to worry about that, but I can't find the right hotel and I wanted you to pick. I was like, okay, give me your computer, tell me what city, city we're going to and I'll pick a hotel, right? It's Portland. It's Portland, Oregon. And I turned to him and I was like, there's a shoe show, isn't there? And he's like, yes. <laughs> You get credit for bringing me with you and making it a girl, like a weekend getaway for us. It's it's one day, it's one night, but it's Portland and you have a shoe show to go to without me. I'm not going with you. So <laughs> bless his heart for combining the two, totally fine. He would have done it all in one day had he gone himself, which he's been doing for the past couple years. I haven't gone to Portland because it's Portland. It's not fun. So we're going, it's literally from one night. We're gonna go after work tomorrow when he gets home, we will stop and get food along the way because it's a three and a half hour drive and then stay in hotel and sleep in and we have four o'clock checkout the next day so we will have breakfast and just hang out until he has his meetings and then either he'll go to his meetings with the car or I'll drop him off and I'll find something to do for the two hours during his meeting then we're gonna have dinner and then we come home that's it <laughs> it'll be fun we'll bring you guys with us but that's what we're doing and that's why I haven't dressed a ton about packing like literally this is all I've packed so far and if you know me you know that like I need to have things paired but literally I have to go put pajamas 
and a second outfit into a bag. I don't even have the bag down yet, which I don't think I can reach the suitcase that has the one little bag in it that we need to pack. So emptying my hairbrush into the garbage can, which I do every day because I have so much hair. So that's what we're gonna do today so that I don't have to stress about it tomorrow because tomorrow I'm just gonna make sure that the girls have done all their chores, the house is clean. They're all set to have us gone for the day. They will be totally fine. They're just gonna hang out here and then on Saturday night and Sunday and then we'll be home. Honestly, they'll probably just stay in their rooms and watch on the iPad because that's a normal Sunday afternoon anyway. So that plan, let's go and pack for 24 hours. All right, so I've got my makeup bag packed. I was kind of thinking, do I need to take this thing? But I might as well, and I don't need to take anything else. I don't need to take other bathroom supplies because I'm not washing my hair. I'm not even showering. I just need to be able to wash my face, which I can do with the hotel soap. I'm not gonna worry about taking my own, but I do have just your basic in case I do want to shower and I don't like to take that out anyway. But I've just got makeup stuff to get ready and a brush to do my hair. And then I've got my makeup brushes and I'm just taking this one palette and then maybe my Jaclyn Hill will set right here on top and then it's all done. All right, don't mind my bed not being made, but I'm not gonna make it. I actually cr crawled back in for like a half hour. I'm not gonna lie. I just was a little extra tired this morning. So I've got a pajama nightgown pack and some underwear, and then I'm trying to decide what to do because I'm trying to take like the minimum amount but still be comfortable. So what I might do is wear this whole outfit in the car driving down tomorrow night just so that I'm comfortable. And then I will have an outfit for tomorrow or for the next day. I'll have jeans and I think I'm gonna take my black sweater that says good vibes and a shirt to go underneath that to wear when like we go out and whatever and then put this out back on to drive home <laughs> because I don't like to wear jeans in the car for that long so but I don't want to take two of these like comfy car outfits there's just no point because it's not gonna get dirty I'm literally gonna probably put this on tomorrow afternoon after I shower and kind of get cleaned up and ready to go in the car I just don't see a point in taking two outfits when it's literally gonna be used for the same thing 24 hours apart and only for like three hours at a time. So I'm basically packed. Oh, socks. I could get some socks out. So I always have a hotel sock. I don't know what the sheets are gonna feel like. I have a weird thing with sheets. If I feel any of my skin catching on the sheet, I need a pair of socks on. For some reason, our sheets right now are doing that to my feet and that drives me nuts. But then if we I need a pair of socks for the day, I'm trying to think, and then I always bring an extra one. You never know. It's like underwear. You just need to make sure you have an extra one. Like. <laughs> Never know what's going to happen. But I think that's all I have up here. My other outfit is down in the laundry, which is why that was the first thing I started today. I have everything from up here. Let's go down and grab that outfit just so I have it packed. I don't even think I'm gonna get packing cues and all that kind of stuff. I think I'm just gonna either do a backpack for our stuff, because Jason's gonna have the same kind of things. He's gonna have a comfortable outfit to drive in, an outfit for him to go to these conferences in, and then an, a comfortable outfit to come home in. But he is weird with shoes. He will probably take three pairs of shoes. That's where we're gonna need the travel bag, the, like the carry-on size bag, because he's worse with shoes than I am. I'm gonna have one pair, one pair of shoes, and he'll probably have three. He'll have a car shoe, he'll have a conference shoe, and another car shoe, because he has the one I was sweaty from the day before. I, I'm placing bet, let's see. Okay, I've got my clothes moved to the dryer and then I'm going to pack my book and I need to get my power cords for my phone. I'm not going to take my computer because I don't know, I just don't find, I don't know that I need to spend the time on the computer. I'm just gonna edit the video right up until we leave and then I'll finish editing that day's video when I get back. I just don't see a need to take the computer. I'm just gonna give my time to Jason when we have the time together. So I think I'm just going to take this, this is probably charged, I was charging my, uh, my uh, keyboard. Probably we'll just take this power cord for the car and for the hotel to charge our phone. And I think that's kind of it. I'll pack my water. I'll do a lot more stuff tomorrow, obviously, because I can like, I'm done using it. Like I'll be done using this and my phone, my water will be ready to like fill up and take with us. So I'm kind of at a standstill with everything else that I can do. So I'm kind of at a standstill actually. When that laundry comes out, I can pack that outfit. The makeup is packed. I can get my toothbrush tomorrow. Maybe I should just do a small list. I am a list person. And I don't want to get down there and not have a toothbrush. You know what I mean? That's why lists are important. We're going to make a list. Because a lot of the stuff I can't pack right now, but it's all in its own places. So I need to remember to get that list. 
You guys, I cannot stay awake. Man, I sat down to read my book. This is partially why I don't read hard copies of books anymore. I listen to them on audio book when I'm doing something else. But I was I sat down and I read. I probably read about 30 pages. I read for quite a while. Yeah, I did. Maybe even more than that. And I, my eyes were so heavy and I just fell asleep. It's already like 2.15. I gotta hurry. Chelsea's gonna be home soon. I'm so tired. It's the second time I've fallen asleep today. I fell asleep this morning and I got back into bed after Ashley went to school school and fell asleep for about a half hour but I am so tired and I know myself well enough I won't make a meal tonight so I just ordered Papa Murphy's I think Kaylee and her friends are coming over tonight but then I have planned a movie night hang on garage door is so not noisy but just just noisy enough. I have a movie night planned with the girls. I thought I was actually gonna have to pay to stream the movie Turning Red because it was my new release and usually like on a new one they will sometimes make you pay for a couple weeks in order to, to stream it. But this one was absolutely free. It's all just readily available on Disney Plus. Planning on watching that with the girls and they're excited about that I think. But Jason is gonna go and see Batman with the guys. He's gonna go with his two guy buddies that we play games with. They're gonna go tonight because obviously like we can't go to game night tomorrow night. So they're gonna go hang out together tonight and watch a guy flick. And I think they're going to dinner too because they're meeting at 6.30. Probably gonna go to Five Guys or some burger place. Uh, maybe Bur Burger Master. Sorry for the light, hang on. They're probably gonna go get burgers tonight and then they'll go to their movie. So I won't see Jason until almost 11 o'clock tonight, I think. All right, I don't know why this is such a, a thing that, I'm, that I suddenly kind of got a little bit teary-eyed over emotional over but I just had Chelsea's bus buses for her school drive by and I don't know it just like made me tear up that like I'm so grateful that she's at her new school and she's close to home again and I get to see the buses and know when they're going to pick her up and I don't know why that just made me like I don't know I think it's like my 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 little chicks are, are underneath you know my coop like they're close to me again and I, I guess I didn't realize how, how much I missed having her close by. You guys, she was a half hour away from me for this whole school year, a half hour by bus, but it really took like 25 minutes for me to get over there um, to her other school, and I didn't like having her that far away, and I didn't realize how much I didn't like having her that far away until I, like, when I knew that I was glad when she moved into that school, but just to see these buses, like, I don't know, that seems so silly, but like, to see these buses pull up to her school and you know they don't have to pick her up for a few minutes but just to see them all lining up and I don't know I like to have my little chicks in my little coop have them close by and uh, I don't know I like it all right I got my pizzas from here at Papa Murphy's and I actually had a free reward so I got this cheese bread I have gotten this one before I think it's new and this is the only one I could get I couldn't get the round like pizza shaped one but I'll take free the kids will like it they can dip it in the sauce and feed more mouths okay came home right when Chelsea came home and she saw this cheese bread and she was like oh please tell me we can have that cheese bread right now so we're gonna make it right now right because a lot of the time we eat the cheese bread and then we're too full for pizza so it does make sense to like use this more of an appetizer a couple hours before dinner right Chelsea but I can guarantee you she's probably gonna have a little tray of fruits and carrots and cucumber. Am I right? No, I just cucumber and top. Her little trays of food at night are so cute. Do you do the same thing for your lunches? I kind of What do you do for your lunch? Just like normally a granola bar, sometimes an apple if I feel like cutting it up in the morning. And then just like a banana. Like it's not much. But, but not much. Do you get full at lunch? Yeah. Okay. Today I wasn't as full because like I only packed a little bit. Oh. But Do you want to pack it at night so you can get time for more? I'm not the mom who gets up and packs my kids lunches anymore. I stopped that years ago. I taught them how and they do it themselves. And if they are hungry when they come home, then they can get more food. But it also tells them, I didn't have enough food today. <laughs> didn't pack enough. I just had a friend who did that for her kids. She made them a homemade breakfast every morning, packed their lunches every that. single day. And then they went off to college and the one of them I saw her like a year later and I was like, how's college? And she's like, it sucked. I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't know how to make a peanut butter sandwich. I didn't know how to make eggs. I didn't know how to like pack a lunch for the day. I didn't know how to do anything. <laughs> They not, my kids could like survive. Like when they turn 18, Kaylee will be able to survive 100% when she turns 18. When she goes off to college, if she's not living here at home, 100% she could like function for all three meals. She may not know how to go grocery shopping. So I should actually try, have her try that. I should give her 
I should give her some money and like see if she could buy the supplies to make the meals that she likes. I should try that sometime. Maybe she would like that. Because I know she knows how to make everything. She knows how to make eggs and pasta and sandwiches and I mean she knows how to make everything but I wonder if I should teach her how to go grocery shopping. Hmm, I just gave myself a new idea. All right, so I just woke up from yet another nap. You guys, I have fallen asleep three times today. I don't know, I hope I'm not getting sick or something but like I laid down and read my book. I've read, now read another probably 75 pages. I read for a long time but then bam, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like hardcore nap. I mean, I cannot open my eyes. Anyway, I did wake up in time for Kaylee to get home from school and get prepped for her interview. She's interviewing for a job and she's very excited, but she's nervous. So we'll be back with you when we find out if she got the job or not. This is the third place she's like put her resume in for. They were not hiring under 18 at um, Dick's and they were not hiring at, what was the first place she tried to get it? Oh, Trader Joe's. It's not that they didn't want her, they just weren't hiring her demographic. So we'll be back and see if she got the job. Okay, tell us what just happened. I got a job. You got it. How exciting. And Evelyn got the job there too. So she's working there. Exciting. Hey, Jacob, do you have a job? Do you have a job? Yeah, I got offered a job at Dick's. <laughs> so you're working at Dick's, and all you guys are like becoming responsible teenagers now. Okay, I got rejected from there. Because <laughs> she's not 18, dude. That's the only reason why. It's his claim to fame right now that he got hired because he's 18. I mean, yeah. So. Kay Kaylee, just tell me how it went. So you interviewed and, oh wait, there's a lot of, oh there we go. So you interviewed, mm -hmm. come in here where I can see you. Okay, tell me how it went. Pretty good, he wasn't too happy about us going to Hawaii. Because he wants you to start right yeah. away? Because apparently three people just called out. Well, it is spring away. break and the you are teenagers. I know, three people quit and so. Oh, three, oh they quit. Yeah. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I, was like, I can't do, <laughs> I can't anything, do anything about, about it. it. Yeah, so you excited? So you're gonna bring me home Panera mac and cheese on discount? No? <laughs> Are you excited? When do you start? I don't know. I have to fill up the stuff and then I have to go in tomorrow morning to get the actual paper. Awesome. Congratulations. Are you excited? Yeah. Good. Celebrate tonight. Is everyone coming over? I don't know about everyone. Just some? Okay. So very exciting news that she got the job. I'm very excited for her and like she said that the, <laughs> the guy hiring her, he's like, wait, you can't work in April? She's like, no, just not during spring break. So, I mean, there's nothing they can do about it. It's like, she, they're teenagers. They're not working eight to five, 40 hours a week. They have to just let them work when they can work. And so, anyway, very excited. She looks to be starting next week, hopefully. That'll be exciting for her. I'll start to not have my car at night. <laughs> And on Saturdays, I might have to just start taking her to work, but it's really close by, so it won't be as big of a deal if I have to drop her off and go back and pick her up or even not have a car for a bit. But I'm kind of enjoying not being on electronics today. I haven't had to edit and be on my computer. I was on it all day yesterday. I think I was on it for like, like 12 hours, mildly interrupted with going to Costco and where else did I go yesterday? Oh, Target to grab a few more things. But I was on the computer until like 9, 9.30 last night and I was like, done editing. They're fun videos, they just take a long time to edit and my computer is really slow. So I just didn't want to be on a computer today and I haven't wanted to be on my phone. I get pretty addicted to being on my phone. So I just put it down today and I've just been reading one to get through this book so we can have book club and two just to not be on a device. I think maybe that was what was making me tired today. Who knows? Jason is going to come home. He's gonna come home really quick and change into something more casual. The theater that they're gonna to go to is closer to here than it was to his work. And so um, he's gonna come home and change and then they're going to a burger place just like I thought they would. They're total guys. <laughs> and so we'll say hi to him and tell him the news of Kaylee getting her job. He doesn't know yet. Hey Kaylee, did you tell dad yet? Let it be a surprise when he gets home. He's, he's excited, he just is worried you're not gonna get it. <laughs> so we'll tell him when he gets home and then he'll have to dash off. And then we're gonna start our movie night, watching the movie Turning Red. And I've got a pizza in the oven for them and then I'll cook mine. I knew he wasn't gonna eat tonight and he won't be eating here tomorrow night because we're gonna eat on the road. So I got a smaller little garlic chicken pizza for me to eat. And he might take some for his lunch tomorrow at work. Kaylee, your prom dress came in the mail. Do you wanna come open it? Yeah. Yeah? Cute color. It's very big. It's very like elegant. Wow. That is so cute. Can Jacob see it before? It's cute. Let me see the back. This is, I love this part. I love this part. Did those did the, oh they cinch with like the little straps yeah. or whatever. So cute. Look how big and long it is. Look at the train. Let me see if I can pull it out. 
Look at that train, so pretty. And now you have a job to pay for it. No, <laughs> just kidding. You already paid for this, and now you have a job to, to actually be able to go out and have fun and save money. Very cute. Yeah, we need to hang it up and kind of steam it a little bit, but maybe we'll go get it professionally steamed. The lace is really pretty. Yeah, it is. Like the detail up here is so pretty. Mm -hmm. I love the back of it. Yeah, I do too. I really like that. And these aren't just like chintzy like ribbons or anything. It's nice cording. Okay, here's her dress on. Now, I can't, I'm not wasting the effort right now to feed these little things through the tiny little ribbon loop. I've got to find some kind of a tool to kind of shove it through there. So we'll worry about later. But it does fit and this doesn't change the style. Like, or the fit. It's just a style. These just cross over and then wind down through. But the back is so pretty and so long and like has a cute train. Then turn around and see the front. Cute. It's really, move your hair. Well, I'm hoping that we can kind of... has to tighten. Yeah. So that, that'll all cinch in as soon as that upper one is tight. And then that's perfect. Yeah, it fits So we just need a, a strapless bra. And then it'll be fine. It's really cute. Your dad's gonna go nuts when he sees you in this. You know that, right? Yeah. All right, Jacob. Can you want to come see it? Okay. Yeah. Jacob's reaction or Chelsea's? Chelsea's first. Chelsea's concerned about the pizza. Yeah. What do you think, Jacob? It's really pretty. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Look at the train back here. Yeah. Isn't that cute? You have to have someone like hold it up for you. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna have an entourage. <laughs> Chelsea will have to be the little chauffeur or the chaperone and. Be the little train holder. Maybe we'll have them attach like a little a ribbon thing that you can attach to your wrist. It's very pretty. Fun. <laughs> Kaylee, tell dad your news so I can get his reaction. Uh, they accepted the thing. It's a higher now. High five. Good job. Good job interviewing. Nice. Proud of you. Well, Are you excited? Yeah, I, I mean, it's not like a huge thing. I it mean, is. Yes, it is. What, when do you start or how's We don't know just, yet. Oh. We gotta get her signed up. Because you, you told them like, you gotta be in school. Yeah. You know, like... They know that. Why are you eating before you go out I'm to eat? I'm hungry. I'll still eat. Okay, you are a guy. Right.